This is Chasing Storms. All right, it's 10.44 a.m. <sighs> Had an appointment for the little mini-me, and he is okay but it took up a lot of my morning. The good news is that if I hadn't had that appointment, I would have been totally out of position. We're heading north now, and I'm gonna go towards uh, London to see what happens there, and I'm gonna get down and dirty full frontal on this thing. Tornado warning just issued for the target storm. Here we go. A little change of plans. I was going to target New London, but now I see the eastern routes there are not good. So I'm going to head up towards Stephensville, and there will be a good intercept. We're on 15 west right now. I'm going to make a move north on 76. Some sort of boundary to my south looks like it's intersecting this. So I'm trying to debate, do I go north or do I stay where I'm at? hindsight, that boundary to the south was located pretty much over the top of Hortonville uh, in that area. So where you see those tornado reports, that's where the boundary was, should have stayed near to that. It is gross in here. Sometimes it takes a while to find a good view for the right situation or the right view for this situation because I want to make sure I can move out of here. I'm like, there's clouds on the ground right here. The air is just so still here and everything is just, oh my gosh, it's like the calm before the storm right now. Now I have to remember, this storm is bearing down on me at like 60 miles per hour it feels like with no visibility so I'm just sitting there waiting for something to pop out and I may only have a few minutes to look at it before I gotta run fast. 11.25 a.m. It is super calm right here. I'm in bl just south of Black Creek, Wisconsin. There is a line of um, mesocyclone type rotation uh, meso vortex type rotation on the front edge of this Boeing segment heading into the Green Bay area. Uh, there is nothing, almost nothing to see right now from this angle. Um, if you're thinking about taking cover versus, if you're thinking about stepping outside to take a look at the storm, there's almost nothing to see right now. It's a dangerous situation for everyone, um, especially storm chasers too. Cause we can't, we don't have a very good visual. But I think I can see a cloud base emerging. I mean, you could even say straight out ahead right down this road that's uh, me nasty business there yep we gotta get off this hill we gotta go stay safe out there guys it's gonna be rough Keep her rolling. Keep her rolling. It's a bad storm, guys. We gotta move. Doing something I don't normally do here. If we lose ya, I apologize. 
step out. Adjust the camera really quick. I don't even have time to do that, but I'm gonna do it. Here, moving into the Green Bay area. I can confirm. You now want to sit outside for this one, take shelter. I would say if I was concerned about a tornado, it would be south of my location right now. So I can't go south. So my best bet might be to take the cord here for safety reasons, but. Even that's jamming north at me. Very, not a very safe environment at all. And I would have no visibility, I don't think, of a tornado if there were one. At this point, I'd say that the, the wind gusts, straight line wind gusts, are just as threatening as the tornado would be. behind me and I haven't gained anything. But mainly a straight line wind thing going on right behind me. Oop. Yep, this is where the end of the road. Alright, stay safe out there guys. Check this out. Oh, in the car. Look at this. Straight line winds here. It's located on uh, near County Road Double E, west of Highway 55. All right, that's interesting. Feeling all right here? I feel like we're okay. If you watch up ahead, you're gonna see some some uh, leaves falling off of this tree. Maybe some damage in real time. Yeah, we're okay. It's... Oh yeah, here we go. It's a bad one. Sorry for the autofocus here. Strong winds, severe thunderstorm. Heading into the Green Bay area. around. 
Bouncing hard. Strong straight line wind. I see pieces of the trees ripping off out ahead on the road here. Okay, this storm is heading into the Green Bay, Wisconsin area. I would say mainly south of Green Bay, but the whole city overall, that region, you're gonna have strong wind gusts like this. Make sure you're taking your safety precautions, taking shelter. We do have reports of damages, uh, perhaps a tornado with this. Pretty rough out here. I see damage in the road up ahead. Uh, from this forest here, this wind's coming at me from the west. It's a pretty bad storm we're dealing with. Uh, we have reports of limbs broken, single uh, shingles ripped off of a house. The storm is weakening now. At my location. That doesn't mean it's done for you, it may not have even started yet. The road is blocked, I can't actually get through now. This guy's waving me in, we'll see what he wants to say. See if he has anything sweet to say. Maybe he's watching the live stream. broken right there. What's this guy doing? He wants to join me. I don't have any power right now, so you want to jump I can't in? Open the. I, what's That's up? That's fine. You want to jump in? Oh, are you a storm chaser? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let me grab my buddy real quick. <laughs> okay. Green Bay, up next. Get ready. Quite the storm coming in. This is the velocity scan. These guys don't have any power, so we'll help them out. Ugh. Jump on in. You, you do this often? Yeah, dude, we're going live. We're live right now. Oh, shit. What's your name? Cody. Hi, Cody. I'm Justin. Hey, nice to meet you, nice Justin. Meet you. you said you have no power? Yep, no power. Do you mind if I put you on camera? Oh, no, not at all. I TikTok, yeah. so. So how did you, did you see the storm coming in and... Uh, well, my parents were out at Menards and then they said, yeah, uh, we're uh, hunkering hey, down here in Menards. Oh, hi, I'm Justin. Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Nice to meet you. Do you mind if I were no, doing a live cool. stream or not? Easiest to cool. it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of the storm? Uh, it's my, this is nuts. This is the first time I've ever witnessed a storm like this. Yeah. He's from Mass, so. From, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was sitting over here. I didn't know if you guys were like trying to wave me in. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We didn't know. Yeah, no, it's all good. I really appreciate it. But I was sitting there and uh, yeah, the winds are coming off the west here from this west side. Uh -huh. Off the cornfield and hitting this pretty good. That tree behind here, is that little one, has that always been like that? Or did that uh, break just now? Oh, shit, that's down. No, that, that was standing yesterday. Mm. That, her tree yep. is fucked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, we got a... Gosh, it's, oh, okay. it's okay. It's okay. Um, 
Yeah, so you got some de debris uh, damage over here along this tree line too. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to figure it. So it's kind of hot. Um, it was coming in. Yeah. <laughs> it came in really fast. I, I got it on video as it was coming in. Just a wall <laughs> did you, of rain. Did that happen to be in your video? Uh, <laughs> I don't okay. know. It's okay. It's, it's fine. I'm just curious. Um, it'd be funny if it were. Uh, yeah, so just a quick update, guys, here. We're located, um, we're going to put it south of Seymour, southeast of Black Creek. Um, and the storm is moving in to the Green Bay area, so take shelter. Uh, strong straight line wind gusts. Uh, potential for a uh, maybe a weak tornado, brief tornado in there. Uh, but I would say that the wind gusts are just as bad as maybe a tornado might be. Uh, Wisconsin weather on Facebook? No, no, not at that's, all. That's where you're, this live streams. We have 140 people watching right now. Very oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, so I'm happy you guys are safe. Yeah. Um, I hope, hope everybody else is staying safe out there. What would you guys say? What would you say to the guys out there? They're the storm coming in. Uh, I mean. As long as you're inside your house, you'll be fine. Yeah. You know, yeah. just just stay inside. Obviously, some of us like to go out in these things. Yeah. It's not the safest thing, <laughs> but uh, you know, get your quick peek and then go inside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you have a basement, go visit that. Yep. Take your precautions. You got family. Um, you know, it doesn't hurt to just spend a few minutes in the basement. And when the storm is done, you can come on up and everything will be fine. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so looking around here, zoom it back out. This tree made it. That's great <laughs> news. Yeah. Um, as I when I leave here, I'm gonna figure out just how much tree damage I gotta get through. Yeah. Um, and, uh, one last update here on the radar. It's going into Green Bay. Um, looks like they reissued the tornado warning for Denmark. Well, reissued. They extended it out to the east for Denmark and Michigan. Um, and then if you put this on a loop, it's heading east. So, what part are we in currently? Yeah, so let me put our dot on there. Why did that not stay? We're here. Sorry about that. This is our current location. So we're out of the worst of it. You may still have gusty winds uh, out to the west here in this wake area. What happens is, is the, the cold air comes in behind the storm and it hits the ground. Um, part of this big circulation here, but even with the storm, I would say mainly that's your main concern is this reddish area as it moves into Green Bay. Yeah. You guys have any questions? No. <laughs> I mean, it's it's cool. Like, I can't believe you're out here on the, in this stuff. Oh yeah. This is your job? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, not my job yet, but in the future. In the future. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, guys. We're gonna let you go. Thanks for tuning in. Stay safe out there. are supposed to be there. You can see tire tracks here that the wind blew them into the ditch. Feel bad for these guys. 